Good morning, everyone. It's uh, just coming up to 10 o'clock here in the morning on uh, the, on Monday. I'm not sure of the date, 18th of uh, February. And uh, I thought you'd give an update. I meant to do this yesterday, but we we're a bit concerned about our internet connection there, uh, where we were, so I decided to leave it until this morning. So this is an English, uh, uh, obviously, uh, tracker update, and tomorrow morning we'll have a French uh, tracker update. So uh, we'll uh, go through the lot. And right now... Uh, Tapio is having a ding-dong race with Suheili there, neck and neck. Suheili's uh, pumped up to a new position. Uh, that was a couple of days ago. That was the 16th of February. So uh, um, Tapio's current position, he's not making a lot of speed. He's, he, well, he hasn't been in the last few days. He's doing 5.3 knots now, which is kind of good. I'll just build that up so you can see what's going on. He's got quite a good northwesterly breeze there, quite strong. That's probably blowing up to 30 knots, maybe gusting 35 or more. And uh, he's dragging his barnacles, uh, making quite good time. The, um, the prospect now, let's just go through for a day ahead. Uh, and tomorrow uh, it gets uh, completely confusing because it's swung around from the uh, northwest and it's coming from the south. And this is going to be the nature of his weather literally for the next week. It's changing all the time. So he'll be a little bit further ahead than that by uh, this time tomorrow or probably up here somewhere. So he'll be you know, still experience a westerly, um, but uh, it's right on the verge. So we're not sure exactly uh, um, where it'll actually get to. Uh, then if we go forward another day, uh, next day, he's sailed into a hole. So you can see there's a lot of instability. There's all these low and high pressure systems everywhere, big calms and so on. So uh, it's going to be frustrating progress, which is exactly the same that uh, Istvan went through uh, and the others as they went north. I've left the full tracks on here as well. I think you all know that if you hit this little icon right there, you can uh, take all the tracks away so you can't see anything or you can hit that one and it just leaves a short snail trail behind the back of a boat or you can hit it again and you'll get the his uh, whoops, uh, you'll get the historical tracks of all the previous boats so he's following in the footsteps of um, a couple of other entrants as well so that's on the 20th two days ahead if we go for drag it forward another day uh, up to the uh, the next one he's still uh, got this confusing area of wind they're going to be very slow, so that's the 21st. And remember, the slower he goes, the, the more impact that the barnacles have on his progress. At this stage, so this is the 22nd, we'll just go by the 22nd, that's four days ahead. He will have only gone about 300 miles if he's lucky. Um, 300 miles is up around here somewhere, so that's where he'll be. Still nothing exciting for him, um, and the potential of some headwinds coming, some light headwinds. So we'll get rid of that. We'll slide it down a little bit here and see what it looks like so bring it forward to the 23rd um, and again you know he's up here light winds but boy look at that you know, look at the big picture it's completely nothing there um, so uh, even the trades have gone so there's a lot of a um, lot of changing of the season you might say you know we're moving into spring and and uh, um, this is I won't call it unusual but certainly you can see that uh, there's not going to be a lot of joy there for Tapio as he goes up. Uh, the winds that are coming back eventually, he's um, going to get some headwinds. That's the next area that they go into. He doesn't go to windward very well with the barnacles, so you got not good to windward, not good in light winds. It's going to be a long, slow road to Tapio. Not much we can do about it. His uh, distance to the finish, if we come over here and look at the leaderboard, Tapio is currently uh, just under 6,000 miles to the finish. And if he could make 3.4 knots, it says he's there on the 1st of May. Uh, but he's not going to do that. It's going to be quite a bit, uh, quite a bit longer. So never mind. Okay, up here to uh, Istvan and uh, Tapi, uh, Istvan and Uku. Uku just caught another fish. We just got a message. So that's his fourth fish, and uh, he said that'll last him for another couple of days. So he's happy about that. Come back to real time weather today, and uh, Istvan. We haven't heard any more about his steering issues. He's still making 4.5. He's holding quite high um, in the course because there's a northeasterly wind and he's actually sailing east of north. Um, so he's going to windward, which uh, is the easiest if you're actually sailing, balancing your sails. So uh, with a trade wind like that, he's probably in this weather that looks like the wind's you know, 20, 25, so their parents a little bit higher. 
Uh, there's probably a two metre sea, but going to windward, you can really balance the boat well and it will sail by itself. So that's kind of cool, it's helping him a bit. And we know that in the days ahead, not a lot's gonna change there because he's, tr he's in the middle of the trade winds. Uku's just starting to get into an area where he's gotta earn his keep now. He's gonna have to um, you know, go with the flow and uh, let's just see what's gonna happen. Uh, at the moment, 4.9 knots, which is about right. He's got the wind. It's looking like to us it's on the beam, but it's not. He would be heading, oh, well, he's, he's going north, it could be, and it's certainly softening off. It's going to go a lot lighter. So if we come forward a day, bingo, he's into this zone. He's going to stop, effectively. That's, that's uh, no wind. He's going to sail up to it. If we uh, increase this, you can see what's happening. He's going to sail up into it, plus this is actually coming down towards him. Now that's the good news because it's it's probably, yesterday the forecast was showing it's gonna go over the top of him. So we'll come forward another day. Yeah, there you go. So even if Uku hadn't have moved, um, he's not stuck in a hole that goes nowhere. This, this calm zone is coming from the north and extending south. And the reason for that is that it's being driven by this uh, this big system, this is the big ultra storm that's coming down, and that's moving down. So it's, it's pushing this calm area, that's the transition zone uh, on the trades here further south. So two days time, uh, if we go back to uh, where we were before, in two days time, he's gonna be in this solid southwesterly airflow. Now, it'll be important, we think, we'll have a look in a minute, because this is the first time I'm looking at this this morning. It'll be important for him to ride that to the east. We, we may not want him to go up. It depends on what this big storm's gonna do. So we'll, um, just to position you, here's the Azores there. That's the Azores Islands there. And um, it looks as if it's changed a little bit because previously it was coming further around this way. So we'll just push it forward another day and see what happens. Uh, come on, oop, jeepers, that's a, that's a turnaround. Um, it's blowing itself apart a bit. Um, let's see, yeah, it's, it's opened right up. So, okay, so Uku will be over here. He's got a good ride. He'll be getting good solid breezes going very fast, but he'll be coming over to the east a bit, uh, riding the southwesterly breeze. That's a big change around this morning in the forecast there. We'll go forward another day. Yeah, this completely disappeared. Isn't that amazing? Um, it's something shot over there. Everything's gone back. Uku's look, I mean, yeah, Uku's looking very good there with the wind. Um, it's a good wind direction, either on the beam or behind him all the way through there. So that's the 22nd. Um, that's only four days ahead. So let's just do a distance. Remember, he's going to stop for a day, four days. It's going to be, um, no, oh, okay. So he's way back here. So he's gonna be down around here somewhere, so that's fine. Um, but very good breezes once again. So that's kind of cool. So we'll drag it forward another day. See what he's got, oh, it's reformed again. Wow, this is getting very interesting. Anyway, good breezes for Uku. 23rd, come forward a day. Oh, <laughs> now it's jumped up the top. So this is really amazing. Now what that's telling me is that even the forecasting is too challenging to predict, but it looks a bit more favorable. However, there's this no wind zone there coming up again. And I reckon that's gonna catch Uku because he wouldn't have got up in towards the Azores here. Um, I'll just extend that up now that we, we know where um, that big storm's gone to. It's completely disappearing. We'll go forward another day. Okay, good breezes, as long as he can catch into it. So uh, another day. Uh, yeah, generally it's okay, but if he's not up there far enough, he's gonna get some headwinds. So I don't know whether that's confused you, but that's an amazing picture. That's completely different than what it was saying um, yesterday and the day before. That, that storm is all over the place, and it's very hard to believe it's gonna act the way they're suggesting on the computer here. I'm thinking that it's just too unstable to predict. I'm not sure, but watch this space. So that's really about it. Uh, Noah, it's, we're trying to work out an ETA for Uku, and at the moment it's looking like it's gonna be somewhere between, maybe the anywhere between about the 7th of uh, March right through to about the, the 12th or, or even 13th or or something like that of March. It's really too hard to predict because um, the weather's crazy right now. That's about it. Thanks a lot, and we'll um, see you tomorrow with a French uh, live update. Bye.